calculate delta G standard for the cell Mg, Mg2+, plus, Al3+, plus, Al. Okay, let's calculate the free energy for this. Well, when we calculated this, we got the standard, the cell potential was 0 0.71 volts. Therefore, the delta G standard is equal to minus N F E. Okay. Now, let me write the equations down so we remember what we're talking about as far as what N is going to be. So we had aluminum 3 plus plus 3 electrons went to aluminum and magnesium went to magnesium 2 plus plus 2 electrons. The total number of moles of electrons that were transferred, remember we had to multiply this equation by 2 and this equation by 3? 6. 6 moles of electrons transferred for one cycle of this. All right. That's the balanced reaction. When we balance this reaction, we get 2Al goes to 2Al, 3Mg goes to 3Mg. 2 times 3 is 6 electrons. 3 times 2 is 6 electrons. Equalize the number of electrons. That's the number of moles. That's what N is. So this is going to be minus 6 moles. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and write out the units. Minus 6 moles times 96,485 coulombs per mole times 0 0.71 joules per coulomb. Uh, coulomb goes with coulomb, mole goes with mole, and we end up with delta G equals minus 4.11 times 10 to the 5 joules, or 411 kilojoules. That's actually quite a lot. So if I have a cell that's made up of aluminum and magnesium, I'm going to get that much energy maximum that's how much work I can do, 411 kilojoules. Now again, I'm not going to get all of that. Some of that is going to be lost as heat. That's still, you know, I can still get a fair amount of that. Even if I end up with 30% of that, that's still a lot of energy that I can use up. Now, some things to think about. Delta G is negative. Delta G is negative. That confirms that this is a spontaneous process. A positive cell potential is a spontaneous process, as written. If the cell potential is positive, as written, the reaction will happen without you doing anything to it. That's, we arranged it that. That's how we want it. That, that's what's happening here. That's a galvanic cell. It's a spontaneous discharge once you close the circuit. Delta G is negative, spontaneous, so it confirms that this is the case. So there we go. Okay, this sort of closes off our basic discussion of thermodynamics. We'll actually continue on in the next lesson and get a little bit deeper. So until then, thank you for joining us here at educator.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.